I don't get how God can forgive someone like me. I don't, I don't see how God could possibly love someone like me. You know, I have people in my ear all the time reminding me of the mistakes that I did, telling me that I'm a bad person. And it's like, how, how can I go face God? How can I go face God and say, God, look at me and all my mistakes. I'm too ashamed. I just feel like God, I just feel like God can't forgive me. I feel like God can't forgive a person like me and I can't face him. So what am I supposed to do now? to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also make sure that you turn on your post notifications so you know every single time that I post we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers so do the right thing click the button and share with every single person so this past weekend we just celebrated Easter what is Easter is it about the Easter bunny going for an Easter egg hunt for the good times for the vibes for the babies no that's not what Easter is Easter is a celebration of the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross of Calvary for the remission of all sin and to reconcile us with our God so that we will not die but we shall have eternal life ah textbook me <laughs> Anyway, I thought it was fitting to talk about forgiveness this week and in particular I want to talk about God's forgiveness for us and us forgiving ourselves. I want to focus on two scenarios. Number one, you sin and then you repent but then you're still covered by that shame and that guilt and thus you feel like God hasn't forgiven you so what do you do? You pull away from God. Or number two, you sin, you're too ashamed to face God, so what do you do? You pull away from God. So what is the common denominator here? Math grade five, I think, or two, or no, not two, three. What is the common denominator here? The common denominator is the fact that sin pulls you away from God. And not only sin, but that shame pulls you away from God. Unforgiveness pulls you away from God. What do I mean by unforgiveness? Is it because God hasn't forgiven you? No. God says that if you come to him, you confess your sins and you repent that he will forgive you of all of your sins. The forgiveness I'm talking about is the forgiveness of self, your inability to forgive yourself. Sometimes you find that we are unable to forgive ourselves. So what do we do? We project that onto God. You're like, no man, God hasn't forgiven me. God is still angry at me. So every time you pray, you keep making the same prayer point. You keep asking for forgiveness for the same prayer point. That voice that is telling you that you're not forgiven, that God hates you, that you know what, it's better to stop praying at all because how dare you go to pray when you are a sinner. God knew that we were sinners, guys. God knew that by our own strength and by our own might, we would never make it. God knew that we needed the blood of Jesus Christ and that is what speaks for you. Mercy and grace are what speak for you. But now you need to forgive yourself. If you don't forgive yourself for the past, how are you gonna move forward? How are you going to move in peace? I want to bring in this story. I'm sure you guys have heard it before, but it's the story of the woman who was caught in the act of adultery. This is in John chapter eight, verse one to 11. So basically this woman was caught cheating on her husband and the mob took her and brought her before Jesus. And they were like, Jesus, matting, Listen, this lady here is cheating on her husband. We have to stone her. This is a disgrace. This is a dishonor. The way out of this is she has to die. And you know what Jesus did? He drew a line on the sand and he said, of all of you guys here, you two, brother Malcolm, but Mandla, all of you here, let he without sin cast the first stone. So the one who has no sin, be the one to throw the stone, to stone this woman. So what happened? Every single person there left. And Jesus asked her, where are your accusers now? And she said, they've all gone. And he asked, who condemns you? He said, no one. And you know what Jesus said? This really sticks out for me. Jesus said, I do not condemn you. So go home and sin no more. Oh, did you hear that? I do not condemn you. 
So go home and sin no more. <laughs> Of all the people who were accusing that woman there, he was the only one there without sin. Therefore, he had the right to pick up a stone and start stoning her. He was the only one who could have done that. But he, the one who could have done that, said, I don't condemn you. Go home and sin no more. What's that saying to you? God doesn't condemn you. He didn't come here to condemn you. He came here to forgive you. There's a verse where Jesus says that I came for the sinners. We need to remember that Jesus came for the sinners. He didn't come for the righteous, for the perfect people, you know, who can make no mistake. By the way, those people, they don't exist. He came for the sinners. He came for you. He came for me. There is no sin too small, no sin too large that God and his grace and his mercy and his favor cannot cover. As much as you are to forgive yourself, please forgive other people. There's a verse in the Bible that says that before you come to God, go make peace with the people that you must make peace with. There's a verse in the Bible that says that if you will not forgive other people, that God will not forgive you. Unforgiveness is a huge sin. And also guys, there are some people who think that, okay, I'm not gonna forgive this person because they don't deserve my forgiveness. Okay, cool, great. Except <laughs> you are the one who's living with the weight of unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is getting in the way of your relationship with God. You are the one who has to carry bitterness, hatred, anger, all the time on your back as a burden. When you forgive someone, yes, you're doing it for them, but more importantly, you're doing it for yourself. And even more important than that, you're doing it in honor of God because that is what God requires and expects from you. And also, on a serious note, those people who forgive people, but then wanna keep holding it against them. So you forgive them, but then as soon as you get the opportunity, as soon as they make you angry, you're there saying, Yeah, but then remember in 2003, you took money from your mother's purse? I still remember. How is a person supposed to move on and change and grow when you keep holding it against them, the things that they have done? Especially people who are committed to change, who are showing signs of change. You're pulling them back. How can someone move forward with their life when you keep pulling them back? Put yourself in their shoes. If someone forgives you, but every single time they wanna call you on the mistakes and the things you did in the past, does that really feel like forgiveness? Does it really feel like you've forgiven them? You need to forgive. And when you forgive, you need to feel, you know that little thing in your heart, little bitterness in your heart, little, it's like a thing, man, right here in your chest, maybe in your stomach or your head, depending on the person. That thing needs to go away every time you see that person. So you know that you don't wish them evil, you don't wish them bad, you don't look at them and get angry all over again. So also you, say a prayer, go to God and say, my God, help me to forgive and forgive truly and to move on from this. So I just want to end off this video by saying a prayer for those who might need it. Most High God, I bless your name. Lord, I worship you and I glorify your name. I give you all the praise and all the glory. There is none like you. There is none who can compare to you. There is none who possesses your majesty and your power. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. And there is none on all the heavens and all the earth like unto thee. Father God, I want to make this prayer right now for everyone who is struggling with forgiveness. People who are struggling to forgive themselves. People who are struggling to forgive others. I want to pray for your grace and your mercy upon these people. I pray, my God, that you may give us the grace to forgive ourselves, give us the grace to change from our wicked ways and to walk down the path of righteousness, to be a true reflection of Christ and to walk in your life. Give us the grace, my God, to forgive others as well. I pray for people who are struggling to forgive, people who, Father God, they want to forgive, they want to move on, but they've been hurt. They are hurting, their heart is crying, and they don't understand how they could possibly move on and forgive. Lord, nothing is impossible for you. You are the God of impossibilities. I pray for these people right now. Give them the grace to forgive, my God. Remove that weight from their heart. Remove that weight from their chest, my God. Remove the weight of unforgiveness from them, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. 
forgive us Lord of all our sins and all our trespasses just as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and Lord lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for that is the kingdom the power and the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. That's it for today guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I will be back with more videos. Peace and love guys.